guy, so it's vlog 44. My hair's a mess. But uh, we're going to get into this day and we're going to go good, okay? Going to go good. Good. <sighs> I'm too tired in the mornings. <laughs> Breakfast for today granola and milk. <coughs> Ow. Sorry. And then... I am going to put... I have to put a sign for ear rape. Sorry. Yes, we're gonna do the workout for today. Um, I have an idea. I have ideas for the workouts I want to do this week. So I'm gonna start off with this one. Um, if it's not enough, I'm going to do some more later if it's not as long as I think it is. I'm basically going to do the long walk that I've done before in other vlogs. I'm going to walk as fast as I can. So, walking as fast as I can. Um, I'm actually also going to see how long it actually is. And what I'm going to do to pinpoint it is I'm just going to play Pokemon Go, but you have, you have the uh, egg things you can do. So, like, yeah, I have like 10 kilometer eggs and everything there so I can see how long the actual walk is. But I'm going to justify it by the crack down here. So I'm going to stand right back here after I'm done and see how long it is. So hopefully it's enough. Hopefully. But I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Okay guys, so here I am. It took me an hour. Uh, it was about 4.7, 4.8 kilometers to get back to this spot. Uh, so I walked up a little bit more because I had like 0.2 kilometers left on two 10 kilometer eggs. So I just finished off essentially and did five kilometers. I am sweating. Took me an hour to do, which is not bad. So I was going at like five kilometers an hour. Really fucking good. Fucking happy with it. Uh, sweating like crazy now. So I am going to head home. Probably get a gamer sup so I actually feel energized and then Probably shower because I'm sweating and then after that no idea. So I'll see you guys in a bit All right guys, so I asked yesterday uh, On the vlog if people wanted to ask some questions for a Q&A uh, And I said I'd answer it in this video um, I didn't stream today or anything for the pure fact that um, I had team practice today so didn't do anything in that sense but uh, I'm going to start the vlog now. I'm still getting a few questions in now. So there might be, it'll be a bit jumpy because I'll be cutting out bits where I'm reading. Or not where I'm reading, where I'm trying to transition from the next to the next and all that stuff. So um, basically I'm going to try and answer all the questions. I'm going to try edit it so that the, the thing, the questions are on the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This will be the last part of the vlog for today. Ugh, for today. Oh Jesus. Um. So please smash the like button and all that. We got some good questions in here. So the first question comes from Rasber, and he wrote this on my YouTube. He asked me, is it possible for you to stream your practice matches with your team? I love watching games like those. So if you guys know, I said I joined a new team. I joined Bazooka um, doing CS. I'm going to be going to LAN soon, actually. Um, is it possible for me to stream the practice matches? I do do not know yet because I'll have to ask the team because if the team don't want me to stream the matches so we don't give out strats or anything then I can't but I'll see what I can do um I'll ask them I'll actually ask but right now possibly not okay so the next few questions these are from YouTube too um Irish Bashy who's one of my mods on Twitch decided to send a few questions in so this first one is what animal do you think you were in a past life past life based on your personality and mannerisms? So honestly, <laughs> I do not know. Um I would say a turtle because I'm quite slow sometimes. <laughs> but, um, uh I don't know. Probably probably a turtle because I'm quite slow sometimes. <laughs> That's right here. And the next one is, what is your favorite compote recipe? 
Okay, so I had to look this up because I've never heard compote, but from what I can tell, it is a non-alcoholic sweet beverage that may be served hot or cold. Um, I guess like strawberry, something strawberry. Like um, I like the strawberry and lime flavor you can get from Copper Burger, but there's a few non-alcoholic versions of that you can get. So I would say that if that even counts. I didn't even know what compote was until now. And the last question is, what is your opinion on the Mercia Shiplap Apex Wooden Garden Shed? So he, he's asking me for an opinion on a shed. An actual shed. I will actually show this on the video. What? <laughs> Why? Okay, so we are now moving on because I then tweeted out and I also messaged a lot of people on Steam to tweet some questions to me. So we got some f a few good ones here. Um, but let's let's get through it. So the first question we got is from the safe Xbox. Um, he questioned, he asked me, uh, what made you want to start vlogging and streaming? Okay, so there's two different questions here. Well, I'm going to answer it two different ways because they're not both the same. Start with streaming. I wanted to start streaming because I found Tim the Tatman on stream back maybe two and a half years ago, maybe three years ago. It's almost three years me streaming now. Um, I found his stream randomly. First time I came onto Twitch, found his stream randomly back when he was playing Call of Duty. And ever since then, I just love the atmosphere and everything. And I just, I just love the concept of streaming. So... I decided once I got my Xbox One that I decided to try to stream on that because I didn't have a PC. Streamed on that for a while, finally got a PC, and then I've been hooked on it ever since. I just love streaming. I love always streaming. I, I wish I could stream more than I do, but who knows? Maybe soon. I don't know, but uh, streaming because of Tim the Tatman. And for vlogging, I started doing the vlogging because of my weight. I want to, I wanted to start losing weight, but I always kind of felt like if I didn't have anything to work towards, I would just give up. So now I have the vlog and the vlog essentially is what's keeping me going day in, day out is what keeps me motivated to do the weight loss. And so far we are down 17 to 18 pounds. So not bad, but that is uh, why. I started vlogging and we're going, this is going to be episode 44. So we're, we're doing good. Next question comes from Stuart Moore, who is an ex teammate of mine. We used to play on the same team. We still play CS together. It says when you attend LAN, will your biggest achievement be meeting me? Of course it will. Obviously. <laughs> uh, next question comes from Minty CS. What's your thought on Amberleaf? Well, it's tobacco. In Ireland, that's a brand of tobacco, so. That's my talk. It's tobacco. <laughs> okay, then Hansen tweets at me saying, what age were you when you first got into CS? So, I got into CS a bit before I was 18. I got, I got my, I got my PC when, let me think. I got my PC the Christmas before I was 18. And I was 18, like, four months afterwards. So, by... When I was nearly 18, 17, I got CS. And at first, it, it wouldn't run on my PC. And then I found ways to make it run and all that sort of stuff. And uh, I used to play it on stream a lot. I was really bad. I started at Silver Elite. <laughs> so, um, but, yeah, I got into CS, mate, like, when I was 17, going 18. And I'm now 20. So next question comes from Jack Belcher. He's a guy that I know from the Irish CSGO scene. He says, what do you think and hope for the Irish scene to be within the next few years? Um, I would love um, the whole IPS, which is a Irish plugging service. I would love for that to grow and like be basically like an automatic thing. Like the way, like I know right now the system is kind of manual at times, but I would love to see an automatic system with that. I would love to see that like, booming like every day people want to play that day in day out i'd love to see that um i would love to i would love to see some of the upcoming irish talent on higher tier teams like even if they're not per, like so much in ireland like still obviously competing in the irish scene and still like you know 
having a crack in the Irish scene and going to lands and stuff like that. But I would love to see some of the high upper class players, the players that are very upper upcoming, to get onto some high tier teams and I would love to see some Irish players at a major, honestly. That would be amazing. So in the Irish scene as a whole, I would love to see the IPS booming. But I would love to see some of the Irish players actually go into the main competition. And I could, I'd just love to see like a full Irish team taking on the likes of SK and stuff like that. Like That would be amazing, honestly. So our next question comes from Blurry. And when I saw this one, I thought, oh god. He says, who would you screw, marry, and kill from the Bazooka guys? So Bazooka is the team I joined. So, who would I screw, marry, and kill? So, I want to get this one out right now. I'd kill Fleming. Just saying. Sorry, Fleming, but you're dead. You're dead. Um, Marry? Uh, I'd probably marry Craig, just because of his accent. <laughs> I don't know. And then, who would you screw? Like, come on. Most of the Irish players want to screw Calvo, so why not? <laughs> And by the way, guys, that's that question is just for fun. <laughs> so don't take any of my answers seriously. And Mark, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Our next question comes from Kai Kid. He says, "When is the date of your move? And will I be able to see your team practice slash play against others?" As I said, I will have to ask the teammates. Uh, that was an earlier question. When is the date of your move? Um, at the moment, it is looking like um august 24th or 25th we're going to try sign the lease and then be moving in by the end of august that's the way it's looking right now so i'll be moved into the new place by like the 31st of august so i have like a month and a half and then i'm moving out next question comes from paisel uh he just asks how is life but he steam messaged me saying like um that he wanted me to go a bit in depth like what i'm doing now and what i will be doing in the future so right now it's summer, so just doing the weight loss vlogs as you guys are currently watching and playing CS, hanging out with the girlfriend, all that stuff. Just having a good summer, essentially. And in the future, I will be moving away, moving into uh, my own place with my cousin and the, my future roommate, Alex, who you've seen on the stream probably a bit when we were going for global. Um basically going to be moving in there and going to be doing a course in game art and design and going to college in august um there's a few lands coming up probably going with bazooka for some lands hopefully we can do well um and yeah so going to lands in the future and moving out oh and uh sometime in august i could i should be meeting up with jess the mod of my str one of the mods of my stream and Kieran so that would be pretty sick I can't wait for that to happen that'll be awesome next question comes from JJK who is another guy I know from the Irish CS scene I love this guy to bits uh what interests do you have outside of streaming slash gaming so since I do game art and design you can kind of assume that I do art I like art um but or not I used to have a big interest in music you can probably you can probably see it in the streams or my vlogs that I have a load of guitars over there I used to be big into music but um I used to be in bands and then had a bad experience with a band kind of put me off music but now I kind of just do it on occasion I really want to get back into it again but right now I don't really want to at the minute so maybe I'll get back into music maybe I'll start streaming it soon I don't know but streaming or um Music and art are two of the bigger things I like other than gaming and streaming. So our next next question comes from Daz, who is on an Irish team that I'll actually be competing against in LAN. Um, it says, give up get YouTube or gaming if you had to choose. So now that is a very hard question because if I gave up gaming, I'd have I'd have nothing for streaming i wouldn't be streaming um wouldn't be where i am today without gaming essentially um but if i gave up youtube i probably wouldn't be doing these weight loss vlogs um if i had to choose i would say i would give up youtube but 
that's mainly because I don't think I could live without gaming. Whereas I know the weight loss vlogs are good for me, but I, you never know. I could have gotten the willpower somewhere to, you know, lose the weight. But with gaming, it's a permanent impact on my life. So I think I would give up YouTube if I had to be completely honest, honestly. Completely honest, honestly. What the hell is wrong with me? And then the last question that I have for now is, do you have a goal for the amount of weight you want to lose or the amount of you want to weigh? Um, I don't know the exact numbers for the weight amount, but I was thinking I want to lose between... 80 and 100 pounds that's what i want to lose so that's a good couple of stone i took about five stone i think which i've already lost one so i think we're going good for now um 80 to 100 i would say would be the goal i don't know what that would exactly put me at um 16 stone i think i'm not sure i'm not sure if that's the right amount but yeah that would be the goal honestly so yeah, thank you guys for sending in the questions. I hope I'm good enough to edit these questions in. Um, the vlog's going to be up late because of all the editing I'm going to have to do now. Thank you guys so much for the questions. It, it really means a lot that you guys sent me in those questions. Some of them were really funny, especially that, um, <laughs> that uh, screw, marry, or kill. <laughs> that was a good one. But um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you spam the like button. Let me know if you want me to do more things like this. Let me know if there's anything else you guys would like to see in the vlogs. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.